this is the type of question that requires you to think very fast if not you will be lost on the way welcome back to my channel this kind of question is always very very easy but if you don't know the right approach to it you are going to get it wrong and get more confused as you continue the journey so first of all i want us to remember that a to the power of m multiplied by n is equal to a to the power of m raised to the power of n okay so we can write this as 6 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x raised to the power of 2 plus 6 to the power of x raised to the power of 3 is equal to 14. Now, we are trying to simplify this. So, first of all, we can see 6 to the power of x here. We can see 6 to the power of x here. We can see 6 to the power of x here. So we can say let 6 to the power of x be something. So let 6 to the power of x be equal to y. If we say that, that means this equation becomes y plus y squared plus y to the power of 3 is equal to 14. Now, I want us to look closely here. What this means is that a particular number is raised to the power of 1 plus the same number is raised to the power of 2 plus the same number is raised to the power of 3. And if we more add everything together, we get 14. So the smallest number that we can start with is 2. So if you check 2 raised to the power of 1 plus 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 2 raised to the power of 3. If you check this, you'll have 2 plus 4 plus 8. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 8 is 14. So you can see that we can express 14 as 2 plus 4 plus 8. So that this side will be equal to this side. Okay? Have you hit the subscription button and turn on your notification bell? If today is the first time you have seen this lovely channel and this amazing face, give us a thumbs up if you love what you are doing. Comment, tell us what you feel about what you are doing. Even if you don't love what you are doing, tell us why. We are always ready to uh, correct ourselves, okay? Thank you very much. Congratulations to us. Uh, yes. Our... <clears throat> Let me calm down. Our silver play button has arrived. Do, 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 do. Yes, YouTube has given us the award and we have received it here. It is for us. I say we because without you, I won't be here. We have hit the 100,000 subscriber threshold and that is an award of recognition from YouTube to us. Without you, I won't be here. So thank you so much. I'm going to do a video for you. I've not unboxed it. There is no way I will unbox it without you because... Without you, who am I? So we did this together and we need to open that parcel together and feel the joy together, okay? So I will do a video on that. I keep posting the video. I just wish I will have that energy to do it because I know it's going to be filled with so much emotions. So I'm getting ready for the video. So for now, just know that your award has arrived very, very safely to us. I am with it now. So thank you very much. And it's first for the video. Okay. Now, back to what you are doing. So you are going to write this as y plus y squared plus y to the power 3 is 2 plus 4 plus 8. Okay. So we have y plus y squared plus y to the power 3 is equal to 2 plus 2 squared plus 2 to the power of 3. Now we are going to transfer everything here to the other side. Okay? So anytime you see a, video, a question in this form, this is how to go about it. It works out all the time. It's always work out. 
So we have y plus this is y to the power of one. Let me bring in this. So plus two. Then plus y squared. So not plus two, sorry, minus two. Because plus two we cross become minus two. So we have y squared. This we come to become minus two squared. Plus y to the power of three. This we cross become minus two to the power of three. Is equal to zero. All right. Now remember these um, algebra identities. Yes, these algebra identities. The one first one. A squared minus B squared is equal to A minus B multiplied by A plus B. Also, A to the power of 3 minus B to the power of 3 is equal to A minus B multiplied by A squared plus AB plus B squared. So we are going to expand this using these particular algebra identities. So we start with y minus 2 brackets, sorry, plus. So this is y minus 2 multiplied by y plus 2. Plus. Then this is y minus 2. Open bracket y squared plus 2y, that is 2 times y, plus 2 squared, equals 0. So now we have y minus 2 plus y minus 2 multiplied by y plus 2 plus y minus 2 bracket y squared plus 2y plus 4 equals 0. So if you look at this term, and you look at this term, and you look at this term, you can see that they have y minus 2 in common. y minus 2, y minus 2, y minus 2. So we can factorize that out. If you keep in mind these steps, you will definitely always solve something like this right. So we bring out y minus 2. Open bracket. When this is divided by itself, we have 1 plus. When this is divided by this, this one will remain. y plus 2 plus. When the whole of this is divided by this, this one in bracket will remain. y squared plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. So we have y minus 2 into, let us collect like terms. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. So we have 7 plus y plus 2y is 3y plus y squared is equal to 0. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, remember that when you say that two numbers, the product of two numbers is equal to zero. It simply means that either the first number is zero, or the second number is zero, or both are zeros. So we can write this as y minus two equals zero, or seven plus three y plus y squared is equal to zero. Remember that we are looking for the value of x and not the value of y. So we cannot get the value of, well, once we get the value of y, we still solve to get x, because the question is in terms of x, okay? All right, now from here, we transfer this to this side, and we have that y is equal to two. So this is the first value of y, and we are going to come back to it, and use it to find the value of our x. Now, when you come to this side, um, we need to check if we can get real root from here by checking the value of its discriminant, okay? So if we do that, we have the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. Now, permit me to claim part of this, okay? Okay. 
all right now remember that this is a quadratic equation let's rewrite it well we write y squared first followed by 3y followed by 7 equals 0 so our a is quotient of y squared which is 1 our b is quotient of y which is 3 our c is constant which is 7 so the discriminant is b squared that is 3 squared minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 multiplied by c is 7 so we have 9 minus 28 so you can see that the answer we are going to get here will be negative and that simply means we are going to get a complex root here okay so this is going to be rejected now we are going to focus on this only because you can see that our x is exponent we are going to definitely apply law to solve this okay so this is rejected and we are going to get the value of x using y equals 2. all right but remember that 6 to the power of x is equal to y all right now we have 6 to the power of x is equal to 2 because y is equal to 2 and anytime your exponent is the variable the only way to get that variable the value is to introduce log or ln okay to both sides of the equation so we introduce log to both sides log 6 to the power of x is equal to log 2 remember that log a raised to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by log a I'm going to prove that the answer we got is correct. And trust me when I say that this is the most interesting aspect of this video. I'm checking to be sure that my mic is still on. So I would like you to watch to the end and enjoy. Okay. So we can write this as x multiplied by log 6 is equal to log 2. So to get x, we divide this side by log 6. <laughs> excuse me and we divide this side by log 6 as well so log 6 we remove log 6 and we have that x is equal to log 2 divided by log 6 now let us prove that the answer is correct but before that remember that log a over log b using change of base we have log a base b therefore this can be written as x is equal to log 2 base 6 now it's time to prove that the answer we got is correct if this is the first time you have seen us have you hit the subscription button yet if you have watched to this stage that means you actually enjoyed this video i think it's time for you to give us that like yes hit the like button to show us that you really appreciate and enjoyed the solution okay so let us prove remember that our x is log 2 base 6 so write this as 6 to the power of log 2 base 6 plus 6 to the power of 2 bracket log 2 base 6 plus 6 to the power of 3 bracket log 2 base 6 is this equal to 14 now remember that x log b is same thing as log b raised to the power of x okay yes so it simply means that this same thing as 6 to the power of log 2 base 6 plus 6 to the power of log 2 squared this will come here base 6 plus 6 to the power of log 2 to the power of 3 base 6 now is this equal to 14 so we have 6 to the power of log 2 base 6 plus 6 to the power of 
log 4 base 6 plus 6 to the power of log 8 base 6. Is this equal to 14? Now, I want us to remember something. Remember that A raised to the power of log B base A is equal to B. Once this and this are equal, the whole of this becomes B. So if we should apply that here, you can see that this and this are the same. So the whole of this is 2. The same thing applies here. So this is 4. Same thing is applied there. So this is 8. Is this equal to 14? 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 8 is 14. And that proves that we are right. Thank you so much for watching. And see you in my next video.